Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look on how to correctly calibrate HDR on your PC. This will include HDR calibration, auto HDR, color format and dynamic range. So let's start. First thing you will go to the setting, then to the system, then you'll go to display, then you will make sure that HDR is turned on. Then you will click on use HDR. If you have an AMD GPU, make sure to turn on auto HDR as this will convert SDR to good native HDR games. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, keep it off as we will be using the RTX HDR and we'll come back to this later on. For HDR video streaming, make sure it's on if you have an AMD GPU and off if you have an NVIDIA GPU as in the NVIDIA this will be turned on automatically in the control panel for streaming HDR videos. Now we will be calibrating HDR using the Windows HDR calibration. If you don't have it, you can install it from the Windows Store. But be aware that this is only available for Windows 11. You can't use it on Windows 10. Before starting, make sure that you are using HDIG on your TV or dynamic tone mapping if you want to calibrate with dynamic tone mapping. Make sure to turn down the minimum luminance to zero as we need to have the inkiest black available. Make sure to set the maximum luminance to the maximum brightness of your TV if you are using HDIG or if you are using dynamic tone mapping, set it to 2200. You will do the same for the max full frame luminance. Keep color saturation at default. Next, we'll be moving to NVIDIA RTX HDR. So open the NVIDIA app, then go to graphic settings, then click on the three dots and add a game that does not have a native HDR support. Black Myth Wukong does not have a native HDR support on PC, so we'll be using the NVIDIA RTX HDR to convert it to HDR. So scroll down to RTX HDR and make sure it's turned on. Now we'll be setting the color format and dynamic range for NVIDIA users. So open the NVIDIA control panel. Now use the NVIDIA color settings and set the desktop color depth to the highest, 32 bit. And set the output color depth to 10 bit. Now if you are using a TV, use the output color to YCB CR444. It has the same color range as full RGB, but it's better suited for TV as it will make sure that your blacks and white are accurate and you will see that it automatically changed the dynamic range to limited. Make sure that you also select the dynamic range to limited on your TV as well. Now, if you are using a monitor, then select RGB full. This is better suited for monitors. For AMD user, unfortunately, I don't have an AMD GPU, so I didn't test AMD. However, I'll be leaving a link in the description below for a channel called Ancient Gameplay, they have a really great guide for AMD. So make sure to click on that link. And that's it for today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you like the content and see you in the next video.